Okay. When the farmer's wife hung some undies out to dry, a burst of whirly wind sent them high up in the sky. She pulled and tried to hold on tight, but those undies fled. So a tidy whitey wind started blowing overhead. <laughs> That old tidy whitey wind blew on by the farmer's wife, and they waved as they went by. <laughs> like those undies came to life. <laughs> One zipped into the pasture, and it fell into the dew, and now someone's wearing undies, and they keep on saying, what's a cow say? Moo. Moo, and our cow says, what a wonderful udder warmer. <laughs> you gotta keep your udders warm, you know? Well, that old tidy whitey wind kept a blowing past the cow, blew the farmer's undies up, and they're even higher now. One zipped up by the stables, and it fell into the hay. And now someone's wearing undies, and they keep on saying, Yay. And our horse says, well, this is one nice speed bag. <laughs> okay, listen. Here we got serious mode. Don't go home. Don't go home. And eat out of your underwear. <laughs> this is a this is a made up story. Okay? Don't don't do it. I don't want Mom, Dad, Dan, I don't want anyone calling the school. Why is my kid eating out of their underwear? <laughs> <laughs> Some author told them they could do it. No, I did not. <laughs> that old tidy whitey wind kept a blowing past the horse, blew the farmer's undies up on a roller coaster course, <laughs> and then some undies hit the roof. So and the king of crowing flew. He soared high up in the sky, shouting, What's a rooster saying? <laughs> He says, look, y'all, I'm flying. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go again. Here, it's serious. If you are falling from a great height, and in that moment you're like, what do I need to do to save me? Don't rely on your underwear. <laughs> Can you promise me that? Can I see some knots? Like, yes, Izzy B, I will not. Yeah. Use my underwear as a parachute. <laughs> That's what you know. Okay. I just don't want that on my conscience. No. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Hi, Tommy. Yeah, Tommy. 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 Well, that old tidy whitey wind kept the blowing past the coop. Blew the farmer's undies up and they're flying loop to loop. <laughs> and then one landed in the meadow by the daffodils in straw. And now someone's wearing undies and they keep on saying, Ah. Ah. Says, the wolf will recognize me in my new mask. That old tiny white wind kept the blowing past the sheep. Lots of undies went off road and covered farmer's jeep. <laughs> and then a pair went by a billy and he caught it in his jaw. And now someone's eating undies. <laughs> blown by the goat, sent the farmer's undies up and left them all afloat. And then the farmer came outside and he gave the goat a glare. Can you give me a glare? Can I see your glare? Mm, I like your glare looks really happy. He said, hey, you silly Billy, give me back my underwear. <laughs> all right, it gets a little crazy. You guys are being a really good audience. Thank you. Well, that old tidy whitey wind, it seemed to settle on down. And our poor old farmer, he's plucking undies off the animals in ground. And then something hit his hiney. Shivers shook his knobby knees because his hiney couldn't hide 
from a tidy whitey breeze. <laughs> Go bit a hole in his underwear. <laughs> okay, now listen, listen, listen. Once again, once again, I have to get serious with you because parents are always like, "What's the moral of the story?" Okay, so the the moral moral means, well, what are we supposed to learn from this, right? Yeah. Morals like, okay, the Lorax, the moral of the story, take care of the earth, take care of the world. So parents are like, what What's the moral of the story? And here it is, right here. Never trust a goat with your underpants. A lot of you are laughing, but I'm so serious right now. Never trust a go with your underpants. You're still laughing. Okay, are you ready to do something fun?